overflowing trash cans like this one. A problem on the Upper East Side day after day and month after month. Four investigates did some digging to get some answers. Visit 72nd Street and 2nd Avenue and you'll see bags of garbage piled up on the sidewalk. And it's an ugly sight, actually. Or trash strewn everywhere. The garbage blows around and it's horrible. And there's trash everywhere. City Councilman Ben Kalos told four investigates government agencies were, in a sense, trash-talking each other. The MTA, in charge of construction, 24 hours a day as the 2nd Avenue subway takes shape, and the Department of Sanitation, in charge of collecting trash. And with both agencies pointing the finger at each other, we need a resolution. An MTA spokesman told four investigates their construction is not the root cause. It is a highly trafficked intersection with several restaurants, coffee shops, and residential buildings. Meanwhile, sanitation told four investigates it's a very disruptive construction project, and we have been working with the community, businesses, and the MTA to provide whatever relief we can. Who do you think should be fixing this problem, the MTA or sanitation or both? All of the above. The problem is even bigger. Sanitation removed larger bins, only to replace them with small wire cans. We have too much trash for those cans, and they're constantly overflowing. Sanitation told four investigates the big ones were getting destroyed by construction work. Then there's CVS, which admits leaving trash on the street after a problem with its private trash hauler. And my office has actually invested $40,000 in buying 38 trash cans. They're due to arrive soon, but otherwise it's status quo. Meanwhile, today, our cameras spied construction workers sweeping up the mess. Of course, the trash problem could linger if the completion of the 2nd Avenue subway doesn't take place as currently planned by the end of the year. On the Upper East Side, Andrew Sip, News 4 New York.